friends welcome to my channel this is Vankatesh your drawing faculty today we are going to discuss about conical helix okay let's see this question construct a conical helix of cone conical helix is drawn for cone okay and cylindrical helix is drawn for cylinder okay so draw a conical helix of cone base diameter 70 mm the cone base diameter is 70 mm and the height is as 90 mm and the height of the cone is 90 mm and here he is asking also draw the projection of the cone in top view okay he is asking about uh, the projection how it looks like in top view okay see let's say this is the cone okay here what we are going to do this is the axis the base is 70 mm and the axis is 90 mm according to this question okay so his water what he is asking we need to draw helix conical helix so helix means uh, it is the path traced by a point when it is moving axially on a body and the body also should move okay here the point consider this is the point the point p is moving from here to here as well as the point is also moving and as well as this cone also is rotating about this axis so what will happen this point will not move straight like this this point will move like this okay so how that should be how how the path will be you need to show in conical helix okay so for this what he is asking see if this is the cone this is the diameter 70 and this is the see the diameter 70 will be available in top view And in front view, what you will get? This triangle. Okay. So, he is asking about to draw conical helix for this. Okay. Here we have to draw the conical helix, how it follows. Okay. And you need to draw the projections of cone in top view. In top view also, how it looks like. The helix, how it looks like in top view also, we need to show. Okay. So now let's see how to draw this. You will get a clear picture. Okay. See students, first of all, to draw a conical helix, I'm going to draw the base diameter of 75 mm from 7 to 14.5 to here. Okay. This is 75 mm. Okay. Hence it is a 75 mm, it is an odd number. We don't know the exact midpoint to draw a circle. Okay. Why? Because of 75 is diameter. We need radius to uh, draw a circle. So, for this, what I am going to do is, I am going to perform the perpendicular bisector method to find out the midpoint of this diametrical line. Okay, so this is the midpoint. Okay, so now with the help of this, I will indicate this one as O. Okay, with O and this endpoint as the radius, I will draw a circle. Okay, so now I got a circle. Now, the circle is been, has been divided into 4 number of equal parts. Now, I need to divide this one into 8 number of equal parts. I will divide this one into 8 number of equal parts. To divide this one into 8 number of equal parts, uh, you can use a protractor. Okay, here for this, I am going to draw a diametrical line which is 75 mm. It is 75 mm, but we cannot draw exact 75 mm. Why? Because of uh, 75 is the diameter, then it will be very difficult for you to indicate uh, to taking radius. Okay, so I am taking 76 instead of that. So, okay, 1 mm is not a problem. 
and the exact midpoint will be taken at 38 okay here it is already it is O. okay now with the help of this I am going to draw a circle okay this is a circle of diameter 75 mm now I am going to divide this one into four numbers of equal parts why because of there are always two diametrical lines which divide a circle into four numbers of equal parts okay now I have to divide this one into eight numbers of equal parts how see this is I am using a protractor take 45 degrees okay next I am drawing a generator sorry this is a mistake I will use pen that is better So these are the circle these are nothing but the generators actually okay generators for coal now this is the top view of the conical section okay see this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is the 8 one okay so now what I am going to do is Uh, by giving some gap I will draw a bifurcation line uh, which is which bifurcates top view and front view okay before that I'm I will draw this line okay next okay now I will draw projectile from 4 So from here also I will draw a projector I mean this generator see this is 90 mm so that axis will be 90 mm and from 1 and from 0 I will draw Okay, this is the cutting point for zero. Okay, this is the point P where the uh, locus of the point will start. Okay, and this is two and six. This is four. Like that, you will get five also. I mean, five and three. you will get 7 and 1 also if it is a cylinder directly you can uh, go for 90 but it is not cylinder it is a core so all the points will meet at apex point 
okay so that's why you have to join all these points to this apex these are the generators of coal okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this end generator also into eight number of equal parts as i have divided circle into eight number of equal parts so that i'm going to divide this end generator also into eight number of equal parts there is already one projectile okay so divide this one into eight number of equal parts I'm just indicating 80. Why? Because of 90 by 80, I cannot do. So this projectile, I'm taking this one as 80. So 80, I can divide it. I can divide into eight number of equal parts. Okay. So next, I'm joining endpoints. Okay. So for this, what I will do is, I will take the help of the scale. Okay, now by using drafter, you can divide this into equal number of parts. Okay, here I am experiencing that's why I don't need any drafter, but you must use a drafter. Without drafter, you cannot. Okay, now this generator also divided into eight number of equal parts. Let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth one. Okay, so now what I'm doing going to do is I'm going to draw straight lines from one. I am drawing a straight line, horizontal line. From 2 also, I am going to draw. From 3. From each cutting point, you draw horizontal lines. Okay, you don't need to draw it for eight. Okay, so here this is the point one. This is the projectile of one, and this one and this one meet here. This is the P one. This is the two, and this is the two. These two here. So this is the P two, and this is the point three, and three meets here at point three. And this is the 4 and 4, P4. This is the 5, meets here, P5. For cylindrical helix, 5 and 3 will become will come on same projector. But here, we cannot take same projector. Why? Because of it is a conic section. Next, for 6, P6. For 7, P7. For 8, it will be the P8. Okay. So now you have to join all the points with a smooth curvature. Okay. So now join all the points with smooth curvature. Up to P4 only it is continuous line. Why? Because of from P4 the point will go backside to the cone. The point will go backside to the cone. So the lines will be hidden. So for hidden lines, it's not, it's dashed 
it will be a dashed one okay so this is the helix in front view but in question uh, it's, it is asked for the top view also okay so for top view what we should do is so to get the helix projection in top view what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, project this point p1 onto the generator of 1 this is the p1 dash okay next for 2 we cannot generate why because of 2 point and this generator both are in same point same line so we cannot do this so for this what i am going to do is i am going to take this horizontal distance this 2 is there no i am going to draw this 2 here this is the cutting point okay from here I will take O to this line, O to this distance, then I will cut it here. So, this will be the P2 dash. Okay. So, in the same manner, I am going to project P3. This is P3, okay, and P4. P4 is perpendicular, okay, so no problem, you can. This is P4, next P5. This is P5 dash, this is P4 dash, this is P3 dash. Okay. Next, uh, from P6. Anyway, P6 and this 6 generator are in same generator. So, I am taking this 6. Why we should take it? I will let you know in sectioning of solids. Okay, now this is the point. Now you have to generate this length, this small amount of length into here in P6. This is the P6 dash. Okay, next to P7. P7 dash. Okay. P8 will be here itself only P8 dash. Okay, now you have to join all these points in top view. Okay, in top view everything is visible, so no need of uh, anything. You can directly join. So this is my helix in top view okay so this is my top this is the conical helix okay here you have to give dimensionings okay for dimensioning what you need to give you need to give the height is as a 90 next the diameter is 75 okay so this is your conical helix okay this is how it looks like in front view this is how it looks like in top view okay